Hey guys, welcome back. Now, the Galaxy S7 Edge has a 3600 milliamp battery built into it. What if I told you that we have a case that has an extended battery that can not only double that time, but give us a little bit more? We're looking at the Zero Lemon 8500 battery case for the Galaxy S7 Edge. Let's check it out. The bag that comes in the box is already open for us. We're going to go ahead and take out the actual case. There's not much else in the bag. Uh, of course, it does say zero lemon on the bag itself. We'll take out the case. We are directly greeted with an instruction on how to use the battery itself, a thank you card, and information about basically rating the actual device, uh, an extra connector, which gives us the ability to, in case we lose the one that comes with it. Uh, and so you'll notice basically it's a micro USB to micro USB and they're designated one that says power and one that says phone. So you know exactly which one to connect um, as it's a single directional uh, connection that you'll have to use. And then we have the case. Now I'm going to say this right out of the box. Yes, this is a thick case. It's not intended to be a slim case. It's an 8500 milliamp battery that you're able to use to extend the life of your device. So what we're going to look at here is I'm going to take the battery straight out of the, uh, the case itself. It's a TPU case that's supposed to enclose the phone and the battery itself. Take that this so this is the connector and this is another one and it has power at the bottom and phone on top and you just connect it to the bottom connector uh, there is a cutout opening with a little bit of an angle so that the camera lens works great we have a power indicator in the back with four leds to show us the battery capacity on the battery uh, and it's fully charged uh, there is a micro usb connector here this is the power input this is where you would charge the actual battery it's 8500 milliamps so this is going to give us 2.3 times more battery life on our galaxy s7 edge so we have 3600 here we're going to get two more times plus a little bit more so almost like three and a half times the life that you normally get with a single battery. Now, this is not only functional for the S7 Edge, you're able to also charge other devices from it. It has a single USB port that you're able to connect a USB cable to it, the USB Type A, and charge other devices. Um, on the back, we just have the information, and it feels like the battery is encased in its own little case, uh, plastic case and it just basically goes all around. So they've really utilized the entire space of it, uh, make sure they give you the maximum amount of battery. And it says capacity 8,500 milliamps. The TPU case just matches the, the actual battery. So when you insert it, there's an indicator back here for the battery with a single button function, the opening for the camera and the sensors. This is the micro USB where you'll be able to charge it. And this will be where the USB type A connection goes in. Uh, an opening for the headphone jack, a speaker grill, and we also have another two, couple of speaker grills here that looks like at the top. After assembling the unit itself, and I've been using it for the last three or four days now, uh, I went through a full charge. I charged up the phone entirely, all the way to 100%, so that's 3,600 milliamps. And then I charged up the battery, which is 8,400 milliamps. So at this point, I'm running at almost basically, you know, if you really look at it, for three full charges of my device to be able to use this. Um, again, activating it is by pressing and holding the uh, power button for three seconds, and that will send the charge directly to the phone, and you'll see the LED. Overall, I was able to go for about almost three days. Uh, well, actually, it says here two days, eight hours, and five minutes. Uh, but the way at least it felt for me is I started at the beginning of the, uh, of the day on the 25th, all the way to the 26th, uh, going through the 27th, and then to the end of the day, literally taking me the entire day all the way on the 20, uh, almost at the, to the 28th. Uh, I did stream a lot of video and I did a lot of screen on time. So I want to show you guys, I had almost nine and a half hours of screen on time and I could have pushed it for even more than that, but that's the limitation of at least how far I went. And this is just chronological as I was taking more screenshots um, and it's time using it. Very, very good. One thing I want to mention to you guys is that the, the audio actually, because of this case, starts facing upwards, which is really nice, and the microphone works pretty good. Uh, the bottom uh, connector here that we have at the bottom to be able to connect our headphone jack works really nice as long as your headphone jack is long enough. And again, this is another port for, uh, for audio. There's a little bit of a kickstand here that you're able to use so that you can actually sit it up if you need to, uh, but not needed. Um, of course, we have the port here to be able to charge other devices. This charges at 5 volt at 1 amp. I checked it out and tested it out with another unit as well. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys is, unfortunately, Samsung Pay and NFC are both out of the question here as the entire battery covers the entire phone. So there's no way for this NFC signal to go through. Wireless charging also doesn't work. Um, so you want to make sure just to be aware of this. The data port or the port on the side here is purely for power, not for data. So if you're connecting power, let's say fast charging, it will pass through and the device will recognize fast charging. But if you're connecting, let's say a USB thumb drive and MHL, it will not work through this port. You will need to take out the device directly out of the case. And it's actually not that hard once you just figure out exactly where it is because it's really mounted at the bottom. So you just slide it up 
the cases itself you can just use the bottom port on the phone and then you know still work it still works like a regular phone there's no concern if you want to use samsung pay you have to take it out of the case if you want to use nfc same thing uh, just in the case the battery itself just blocks everything it's a very good product will last you and will take you through most of the long hauls that you need um, i like the fact that it's basically conformed and it works pretty much the same as the phone you just plug it in put it in the case and it matches it it just essentially just the double size be aware of that very very nice very good i'm very happy with the unit itself uh, again as long as you're not using samsung pay all the time you're not going to have to take it in and out nfc could be worked around not a big problem um, and as far as wireless charging i don't think you want to do wireless charging when you have it in a battery such as this because it would take forever for you to be able to charge up an 8500 milliamp battery on top of 3600 that's over 10,000 milliamps on wireless charging which is not functional but again very good the casing is very good i think uh zero lemon and, uh, you know knocked it out of the park again very happy with it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i've used zero lemon uh, batteries before the high quality battery and it's you know the usage on this is going to get even better as it's recommended to do at least five cycles before you actually get the true battery life of this and i was actually putting in a lot of movies watching a lot of things i went on netflix watched a lot of shows i want to make sure to basically get the most amount of screen out time and i think i can beat the nine and a half hours on the next run Again, like and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll give you guys a link in the description to be able to pick one up for yourself. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Initial thing, it says let's get started. Says, swipe left for widgets. So we'll go ahead and swipe to the left. Front-facing camera. Fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button. It's 